so in real or fractional abstract problem uh, the problem have uh, the collection of objects so we have number of objects available with some weights and uh, profit okay now uh, and we also have some knapsack or some bag with the predefined capacity m the capacity of this bag is m okay so every object have some weights and profits and uh, uh, so the problem can be defined as a thief uh, there is a thief uh, which 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 uh, wants some object uh, which needs to steal some objects with the pro uh, prof weight and profit value but the capacity that it can take uh, is limited the capacity uh, is bounded by a uh, value m okay but the freedom of the uh, greedy thief is that it can take a weight fraction of weight in order to get the maximum profit so i can take a fraction of a weight in order to get the profit fraction of the weight means suppose for example uh, i have object 1 with some value weight value 10 gram and the profit as uh, this have 100 rupees okay similarly if i have any object 2 with the uh, weight 15 gram and the value of a profit is 500 rupees okay Similarly, if I have any object 3 with the uh, weight 18 gram and the profit is 350 rupees. Okay, so this is an example. If I have a capacity as uh, suppose uh, only 20 grams, I can take only 20 grams or the thief can take only 20 grams. Then if uh, at any moment of time uh, so in this one if i choose uh, 15 from here to get the maximum profit if i choose 15 from here then i the remaining part is 5 gram so in this box if i choose a 15 gram item as object 2 then i just remaining item is 5 gram so the 5 gram can be taken from this one because it it contains the maximum profit okay suppose the uh, second maximum profit is uh, object 1 so the uh, 5 gram can be taken from here it means the half of this quantity can be taken so 10 by 2 can be taken uh, here and this can be filled by object 1 with only 5 gram quantity okay and the profit which is added is nothing but half so 200 initially it is 400 now it is 200 so this 200 plus the profit of this object uh, so this ob1 is a profit of uh, uh, this this is the 200 is a profit of ob1 and the profit of ob2 is 500 and the total for profit would be 700 rupees okay so we can take the object uh, whatever fraction we want in order to uh, achieve the maximum profit okay and uh, uh, the sum of the weight should always be less than or equal to the maximum capacity in the knapsack so the uh, knapsack uh, problem have two properties first is for all object i is equal to 1 to n and the weight of each object is always uh, the summation of all weights in the uh, knapsack is always less than or equal to maximum capacity. Uh, so, if this condition satisfy then only the solution is included into the feasible solution. So, this condition is satis uh, for the feasible solution space. Second property is for all objects 
in the feasible solution space 1 to n if xi into pi is maximum then this is the optimal solution for the problem this is the condition for the optimality this is the optimal solution for the problem so what is xi here xi is some fraction of uh, an object is some fraction of object taken to the solution okay so let's solve some problems based on this uh, knapsack so problem one suppose we have three objects n is equal to three with the uh, maximum capacity given is uh, 20 suppose obj uh, object one is there object two is there object three is there with the profits as 25 24 and uh, 15 and the weight are given as 18 15 and 10 then uh, this problem can be solved by the greedy approach so i will just uh, solve this problem if uh, the thief is greedy about uh, profit if thief is greedy about profit then uh, suppose this is the because i have three objects and i need to pick these three objects in some of the fractions and i am greedy about the profit so suppose this is the fraction of x1 i object 1 this is the fraction of object 2 and this is the fraction for object 3 so uh, greedy about the profit means it will select the uh, the thief will select the item which have the maximum profit and the maximum profit is for obj1 so whole obj1 is selected so here the pr uh, fraction for obj1 is 1 so whole obj1 is selected and when obj1 is selected the capacity is 18 so because uh, the bag have the capacity maximum capacity as 20 and i have already selected ob1 which have the weight as 18 so only 2 is remaining so for the second maximum profit is for obj2 so for obj x2 only 2 sec uh, quantity of the weight is required so i just take 2 upon 15 fraction of object 2 and i cannot pick object 3 now because my bag is already filled up okay now because the weights are in fraction so the profit is accordingly in fraction for first one i will multiply with the complete profit plus for second one i will multiply with the 2 by 15 fraction of the profit so it is multiplying the uh, uh, profit that is 24 so the result would be 28.2 okay if the same uh, thief is greedy about weight means if he thinks that if i pick the minimum weight then i can pick the most items as uh, and which will result uh, more items and which will result into the maximum profit okay so for the same if if the it is greedy about the weight then because it is uh, it have three options for x1 x2 and x3 so based on the weight i just select the weight with the minimum which have the minimum weight uh, the object which have the minimum weight so this ob3 is selected as a whole because it has a minimum weight then second minimum is for ob2 and for ob3 because uh, the weight is 10 so the knapsack or the bag is which is of uh, quantity 20 is filled by half by ob uh, this is filled by ob uh, 3 okay now uh, the second half is remaining so for the second object because it is much more lighter uh, I just take the 
टेंथ ऑफ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ दिस आइटम सो टेन बाई फिफ्टीन इज टेकन एंड फोर थर्ड आइटम देर इज नो स्पेस अवेलेबल सो द प्रोफिट इज जीरो इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टेन अपॉन फिफ्टीन इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस वन इंटू टेन सॉरी वन इंटू फिफ्टीन दैट इज द प्रोफिट so the profit the overall profit is 16 into 15 or uh, 16 plus 15 and this will result in 31 okay so if i uh, greedy about profit the profit is uh, comes to 28.2 if i greedy about the weight then profit is about 31 now finally if i greedy about the ratio of both that is profit and weight if i take the ratio of both profit and weight then what is the answer so let's take the ratio of both so i just write here the ratio of uh, profit and weight what is the ratio so the value of r for first one is 1.38 the value of r for second one is 1.6 the value of r for third one is 1.5 okay now because i am greedy in nature i just select the object so here uh, space for x1 space for x2 space for x3 uh, this is for x1 x2 x3 i take the full fraction of this object 2 because it have the highest ratio then the second fraction because it has a weight 15 i just remaining uh, capacity is 5 so i just take the 5 capacity from ob3 because it has the second maximum ratio okay so 5 by 10 is the fraction which is taken from this or i can say that 1 by 2 fraction of x3 and the overall profit for this one is 24 into 1 plus uh, this 5 by 2 means 1 by 2 into profit of this is 10 so Uh, sorry profit is of this is 15 so the overall profit would be 31.5 uh, 31.5 okay so this is the overall profit so by uh, uh, giving priority to the ratio of the profit and give uh, profit and weight i got the maximum profit okay so this example says that in greedy knapsack problem we will always get optimal solution by giving the importance to both profit and weight okay so in further examples we will uh, calculate the ratio first then then calculate the uh, then will we will select the uh, optimal choice uh, at local okay so let's start with the problem number 2 Uh, in problem number two, we have uh, five items, and the capacity of the knapsack is twelve. Uh, okay, so suppose uh, the items are OB one, OB two, OB three, OB four, and OB five. The profits for these items are given as five, two. and 2 uh, 4 and 5 and the weight are given as 5 4 6 and 2 uh, 1 okay now uh, we will calculate the ratio first in the value of r 1 uh, here it is uh, 1 by 2 means 0.5 and here it is 0.33 and then 2 and 5 this is the ratio so the maximum ratio is 0.5 because the uh, maximum uh, profit uh, sorry uh, we have the capacity of the knapsack as 12 so let's we have uh, five spaces uh, x2 x3 x4 and x5 So this is x two, x three, x four, 
and x5 the maximum uh, ratio value is for x5 i will take the x5 as whole then the second maximum is for this one because uh, the weight of this x1 is 1 so i have uh, capacity as 11 the remaining capacity would be 11 okay then again i will take the x4 the weight of the x4 is 2 so remaining capacity is 9 and i will take the x4 as a whole okay then i will take the uh, ob2 uh, sorry ob1 so ob1 the weight of ob1 is 5 i will i can take ob1 as a whole and the remaining uh, capacity is 4 then i will take i cannot take ob3 as a whole so uh, sorry the next uh, maximum ratio is for ob2 but uh, the ob2 the fraction is 4 so i will take the ob2 as a whole and i cannot get uh, cannot have the space remaining so x3 will be zero fraction so the total maximum profit would be 1 into 5 plus 1 into 2 plus 0 into 2 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 into 5 and that is results in 16 so 16 is the uh, maximum profit achieved by this uh, knapsack okay so this is all about the uh, knapsack problem so let's write an algorithm for this problem uh, the algorithm can be uh, formed as first step is we need to find out the ratio so for all uh, array 1 to n i need to find out the profit p of i upon w of i and this step will take order of n time second is we need to arrange the uh, arrange p i upon w i ratio in descending order or decreasing order So this will take because it is a type of sorting order of n log n time. Okay. Then uh, third step is because uh, after this we need to select the objects or we need to select the objects based on the profit. So for each object for i is equal to one to n we need to uh, we add uh, objects one by one until until uh, until the sum of the weight sum of the weights in the knapsack is less than or equal to m okay so till th uh, that time or we can say less than m so till that time we will add the objects one by one so the time come uh, so this will this step will take order of n time so the overall time complexity t of n would be given as order of n log n time for the knapsack problem if the element is already sorted then the time complexity would be order of n only so this is when I'll, uh, this is the worst case and this is the best case time complexity when elements are already sorted thank you very much for listening this in next lecture we will cover the minimum spanning tree uh, and primps and classical uh, algorithms to solve the minimum spanning tree problem thank you very much please also uh, subscribe this channel or like and share these videos or comment if you have any doubt in this video thank you